Hello, this is Dr. Leslie Franklin from the Institute for Transformation and Change. And today I wanted to talk about the psychological harm of not being able to receive an abortion. After the overturning of Roe versus Wade, we are now living in a time where women don't have access to abortion unless there is severe medical necessity. What concerns me about this is that there is a significant amount of research that shows that women who don't have access to abortion have increased depression and anxiety, and that was even when there was access to abortions and people had difficulty due to economic hardship or other reasons of actually securing them. As we move forward after the overturning of Roe versus Wade, one of the things that is so important is how abortion bans affect mental health. Also because the perinatal period places people at increased risk for the onset and relapse of mental health disorders, even knowing that they might be able to get an abortion. The increased restrictions on receiving abortion care coupled with proven risk factors for perinatal mood and anxiety disorders could absolutely increase individuals' risk for psychological suffering. Um, in 2019, there was a study that projected there would be a 13% reduction in U.S. abortions in the immediate aftermath of a row reversal, which is exactly what we saw. Actually, we saw it up to 19%. It's also important to know that in a survey of more than a thousand abortion patients who were asked why they were having abortions, 48% indicated they not, did not want to be a single parent or they did not have the financial means to support a baby. For those of you that are struggling with the issue of abortion and how you're going to move forward in life, if that's not something you have access to, it's really important to talk to someone about this issue and the anxiety and depression that comes with it. It's not something that necessarily can resolve, be resolved immediately, but certainly there is support that um, therapists can give you, where, whether it's at the Institute for Transformation and Change, a therapist that you're currently working with, or finding one in your area. If you would like to talk about this further, please feel free to contact Dr. Leslie Franklin, Institute for Transformation and Change, 510-268-8544. Again, uh, important to remember to take care of yourself during this stressful time, especially with the psychological impact of lack of access to abortions.